under the crystal thing? Can I just chuck a load of glitter in and end up with a fabulous crystal? Probably is my thought on this, so let's try. Okay, so I have mixed up some resin. It's the one-to-one -one from Just For You Online. It's called Apex Resin. And it's their high gloss finish um, resin. It's a good all rounder, this is. You seem to be able to go to quite a decent depth with it. And I've stirred it all up, mixed it all in. I've been stirring it for a little while and trying to be good and stir it for longer like you're supposed to. And slower and all of that. And we're just gonna then pour it straight into the mold. Give me a real quick video of this because you've seen me do this so many times. I did give it a quick spritz with alcohol first, um, although I'm, there still are some bubbles sticking in there, I can see. Now the other thing I'm going to be doing, just because I've got I've mixed up too much as usual, is the little bunny mould that I've got. This is a real cutie and I think it's another one that wants to be pink. So we're going to be putting pink glitter in this. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to... For this I'm going to be mixing the glitter in once it's in the mould in the hope that some of it will float. I haven't used this mould before so I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see what he turns out like but it looks like he's got fur and everything. <laughs> I can see there's a few little bubbles in, it, in both of these so I'm just going to let them dissipate a bit. It's a warm day, the resin is going to you know, heat up quite quickly, I would I would expect. And, uh, yeah, so I have to be careful I don't get any flash cures, to be honest. But this resin doesn't seem to flash cure unless you get it ridiculously deep. I'm surprised. Normally I'd have gone for a deep pour resin with this uh, crystal mould. I think I've said this before, haven't I, uh, on my other videos. But this one, this resin, it really doesn't seem to mind it's it's quite forgiving. Just get me, getting myself a wonder wipe out again. Clean my little brush. In case anybody's wondering, this brush I'm poking around with is actually a silicon brush. Now I'm just going to poke down into his ears. They're really handy these silicon brushes. Um, I've got them in all sorts of different sizes. This, is, as you can see, is a nice little fine one. It's just that instead of bristles, it's got silicon really handy for poking around in moulds because of course what you don't want to do is um, scratch your mould. So I'm just taking the bubbles off as they rise. Now the glitter. People ask how do you stop the glitter sinking? Well there's two ways of doing this really. One is don't care just let it sink. The other is let your resin thicken up first and then mix the, the, the glitter in or while it's curing come in and give it a stir a bit um or you actually there's another way come to think of it you could just leave it which is what i'm going to do with this one until the resin is pretty much cured and then chuck it in and then top coat over the back now what i'm going to be doing here is just chucking this very pale sparkly glitter glitter it is pinky colored i'm going to chuck an absolute ton of it in it's called mermaid it's from glitter stella Just going to chuck that in and see what happens. It may or may not sink. I don't know. I'll come back and check on it. This one, I am going to let it cure. Quite a long way before I go putting the uh, the resin in. The glitter, rather. Okay, so there we go. I'll see you later for the next stage of those. Okay, we're back here with some resin mixed up and the bunny has solidified what i did was i kept popping in and stirring a little bit and then i sprinkled a bit more glitter on the back and quite determined to get that full of glitter so actually i'll just pop that little top coat on now i could have just left it at that but i kind of wanted to fill the mold up a bit more and also i think it's it's nice to see all the glitter in so that's that one done uh, this one um it's just clear it's all cured up nicely so what I'm going to do is get that beautiful glitter chuck it in the back and here it is and then put a coat on so again we're just sealing the glitter in but with this one I did want the glitter to stay on this surface so it's like a backing 
don't know why I'm bothering spreading it around because it's probably going to go all over the place when I put the resin in. But this will make sure, obviously, it can't sink because the thing's cured underneath. So if I just want um, a base, a bit like putting one of my cut-out templates in the back, really, isn't it? If you can't be bothered to do any cutting out and you've got some lovely glitter to hand, well, let's see if this works. Simple as that. Um, I'm going to push it about a bit. I want to make sure I get some out into the tips. I've also domed this slightly, as you might see. So I've put quite a lot of resin in there. There might be a little bit of trimming for me to do afterwards. Well, hey-ho. I don't mind a bit of trimming. So there we are. I'll clear up that little bit of mess I've just made and I will see you for the demold. It's really warm here in the UK still, got a bit of a heat wave going on. So um, the demold will probably be a lot quicker than normal. So I'll see you in a few hours rather than the usual 24 hours, I'm guessing. So see you then. Okay then, who doesn't like a good demold? Here we go. Um, so yeah, I topped this one up uh, on the back as well. Um, so we've got glitter inside it and on the bottom and I stirred it. You know, there should be a good lot of glitter all the way through this. The simple answer though really is to let your resin thicken up a bit first. But I thought we'd try two different ways of doing it. So this one's been stirred as we've gone along and I've added a bit more glitter at the end when it was really thickened up. And we'll see how it comes out. Now I think this is a map a matte mould. It is. Oh isn't it cute though? Now you can see a lot of the glitter has sunk. I'm going to paint this over with some clear UV um, finishing. Uh, I'll probably use a UV nail varnish. Make that sparkle come through. We'll do that in a sec. Um, and this one, if you remember, I let it cure and then we put a layer of glitter on the back and we coat it over that to give it a protective layer. And let's see what we end up with. I really haven't tried it done, done like this before. I usually either back it with something solid or I chuck some... Let's see, I've got a little bit of trimming to do here. Or I, ch or I chuck the glitter in and mix it in as I go. Um, so just backing it. It ought to work though, so shall we see? Let's have a look. <laughs> yes! So there you go. If you can't be bothered to cut out the templates, well I can't, get me a machine to do it for me. Um, or you've got some gorgeous glitters you want to try. You can of course put them all the way through so the glitter comes right up to the point. But if you want to do the backing effect so that it sparkles through, you most definitely can. There we are. We've learnt something. Well I have. <laughs> I did, to be fair, I was pretty sure it would work because the back then or any other backing that you put on works. So, you know, I'd have been very surprised if it didn't. But there we are. We have two very pretties. Right, just coating this with some ultraviolet nail varnish. Um, just the normal stuff that you'd use, you know, that nail artists use on their nails. Just going to give that shine back to him. It is a matte mould. I didn't realise it was. Should have looked. Um, there's a few things you can do about matte moulds. This is one of them. Paint it afterwards. <laughs> but it's quite textured so it's never going to be amazingly shiny. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. I'll zap it with my ultraviolet lamp and then we'll get some photos done for you. So thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you found this interesting. It sure is a nice, quick, easy little project. Um, and hopefully that's given you two ways to approach glitter and the sinkage problem. So we've got the either the mix it in and keep coming and stirring it to pick it back up until it thickens up, which is what we did with the bunny. Or, of course, as the typical, just chuck the glitter in when it's cured up some and give it a stir when it's thickened. You've got to get your timing right there, of course, but that works. Although we haven't shown that today. And then there's the let it all cure and stick it on the back with some moulds that will work. Others, obviously, it won't be quite so attractive, um, but with crystals, it certainly does. So, yes, there we are, folks. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Massive thanks to those who already have. And I look forward to seeing you for the next video. Bye, everyone.